Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about babies. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of babies is Psalm chapter 127, verses 3 through 5. It says, Behold, children are a heritage of Yahweh. The fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They won't be disappointed when they speak with their enemies in the gate. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of babies is found in Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. It says, they were bringing to him little children, that he should touch them, but the disciples rebuked those who were bringing them. But when Jesus saw it, he was moved with indignation and said to them, allow the little children to come to me. Don't forbid them, for God's kingdom belongs to such as these. Most certainly I tell you, whoever will not receive God's kingdom like a little child, he will in no way enter into it. He took them in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Psalm chapter 139, verses 13 through 18. It reads, For you formed my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. My soul knows that very well. My frame wasn't hidden from you, when I was made in secret, woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my body. In your book they were all written, the days that were ordained for me, when as yet there were none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, God! How vast is their sum! If I would count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I wake up, I am still with you. Passage number 4. This is from Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 through 15. The scripture says, Then little children were brought to him that he should lay his hands on them and pray, and the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Allow the little children, and don't forbid him to come to me, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to ones like these. He laid his hands on him, and departed from there. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. The Bible says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I have appointed you a prophet to the nations. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of babies and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on babies. Passage number 6 is from Luke chapter 18, verses 15 through 17. It says, They were also bringing their babies to him, that he might touch them. But when the disciples saw it, they rebuked them. Jesus summoned them, saying, Allow the little children to come to me, and don't hinder them, for God's kingdom belongs to such as these. Most certainly, I tell you, whoever doesn't receive God's kingdom like a little child, he will in no way enter into it. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 24 through 28. The Bible says, When she had weaned him, she took him up with her, with three bulls, and one ephah of meal, and a container of wine, and brought him to Yahweh's house in Shiloh. The child was young. They killed the bull, and brought the child to Eli. She said, Oh, my Lord, as your soul lives, my Lord, I am the woman who stood by you here, praying to Yahweh. I prayed for this child, and Yahweh has given me my petition which I asked of him. Therefore I have also given him to Yahweh. As long as he lives he is given to Yahweh. He worshipped Yahweh there. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of babies is from Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. It reads, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old he will not depart from it. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Psalm chapter 8, verses 1 through 2. The passage states, For the chief musician, on an instrument of Gath. A psalm by David. 
Yahweh, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of babes and infants you have established strength, because of your adversaries, that you might silence the enemy and the avenger. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of babies is from Matthew chapter 18, verses 1 through 7. It says, In that hour the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Who then is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called a little child to himself, and set him in the middle of them and said, Most certainly I tell you, unless you turn and become as little children, you will in no way enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whoever therefore humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one such little child in my name receives me, but whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it would be better for him if a huge millstone were hung around his neck and that he was sunk in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of occasions of stumbling. For it must be that the occasions come, but woe to that person through whom the occasion comes. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of babies. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to babies, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.